Oh, hey guys, welcome to another video. I thought I'd uh, do something a little behind the scenes in terms of um, setting up uh, my Mr. FPGA here. I've actually had this for a while, uh, and you may have noticed on my channel that I have um, a lot of the analog uh, FPGA products, but I did actually have one of these, and I never really... I have used it. I'll be honest, I only have one core on it right now, which is running the... Um, this is essentially my Turbo Graphics 16 uh, for the most part, but uh, I wanted to start using it again and I didn't have this cable. I misplaced it. I actually ordered the, uh, basically it's the USB hub to the uh, on the go uh, connection, sorry, the, the micro um, connection here. But because I have, uh, you know, a lot of, um, I don't know, I guess uh, mismanagement in terms of my cables, I uh, actually found one of the ones that I was missing. Um, for this unit so the one on order uh still hasn't arrived it's been on order for a while but who knows when it will actually get here i'll have a, a spare uh, regardless because i can't seem to cancel it but what i wanted to do um last night i was actually playing on uh, my lcd tv and i thought i'd try setting this up um for on a crt and just see what it'd be look like i'm actually just using a pc monitor I actually have a, a decent uh, amount of these. I actually have a, a BVM as well, but this is because it's um, outputting into uh, via HDMI, I wanted to use an adapter and I do have another video where I get a lot of questions about how, how, I, um, how I have it set up. And I thought, well, why don't I try doing a, a video using the FPGA? So for those that don't know what this is, this is the, um, they call it the Mr. Project. So if you search Mr. Project or Mr. FPGA, you'll, you'll learn um, more about it. Mine is not uh, built out yet. I only have basically the core board. Uh, I've got no RAM expansion. I actually need to get a fan kit because this thing does actually get pretty hot. And I just got a simple USB hub on, underneath it um, held on by tape. But, and then I've got a core for the TurboGrafx-16 um, on here. And, ba and basically what an FPGA does, it, it replicates the, um, the original hardware of a game console or, um, or uh, like a computer system, like say uh, Commodore, you know, VIC-20 or something like that. Um, you can replicate, it's not, it's not software emulation, it's more like hardware emulation, so it's the the way it's configured, it, it thinks it's the original hardware. And that's essentially what a lot of the FPGA um, uh, products or systems do. So I'm going to uh, sort through all my wiring here. Uh, I'm not editing this video. I'm just going to kind of keep it going the way it is. Um, and hopefully this will actually all work. So you've got your power cable going on here. Um, and I think this is the... USB hub cable, I hope. Yep. So that's powering there. I've got a controller and everything else should be set up. And now you gotta, you do need to have a keyboard and mouse, or at least, um, pretty sure that's how it, way, way you have to have it set up. I'm gonna try to get something that's all in one. I know I've seen some people doing like a, like a 3D printed computer uh, keyboard. Uh, and, um, you know, they have it all in one. So I'm, I'm going to see if this actually will work. I, I'm not sure if it actually will work. So maybe if it doesn't work, I won't upload the video, but then again, um, part of the fun here is just to see if it'll actually will work. So let's get rid of some of the cabling here. Um, what I noticed is that, um, I don't have my HDMI cable here. I'm going to go in grab one of those. I forgot to grab one and um, we'll get that connected. Okay, so much for not trying to edit the video very much. Um, but anyways, I got this. Uh, so this is the um, Enjoy Gadgets um, HDMI to VGA and also uh, component uh, adapter. And uh, I've been using this with my um, FW900 uh, monitor to connect my um, PlayStation 4 and Xbox to it. 
but I haven't tried, uh, I'm not sure if I actually tried any of those consoles on a much smaller uh, CRT. And what I thought, because when I was playing the games last night, I wanted to see what it would look like if I used um, the FPGA on it. So let's see what happens. I think I'm going to turn some lighting off. Ooh, well, that doesn't look too good. Okay, this uh, monitor may need some adjustment here. I'm not even sure if I've actually used this. Uh, enter? Nope. Oh, okay. Position? Nope. Oh, come on. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna pause that for a second. Okay. All right, so I got the screen uh, better position. I don't, actually don't even know if I've actually used this monitor yet, so it looks pretty good. <laughs> I uh, had no idea. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, um, so basically when you're using the, um, the FPGA, basically this is a, a DE Nano, um, I think it's a company called Terrasic. Uh, I could put the uh, description in the... Um, I'll put the information in, in the description of the video, but um, I think I remember doing it right. Hold on, let's see. Here we go. So let's go down to, what was I playing? Oh, super. Go down to, oh, let's try Salamander. That might be good. Um, hopefully this, the... Um, quality is okay I've got a window to the next to to the left of me here so uh, I didn't set any of the I don't think I sent any of the scan lines on but because this monitor should be doing it on its own which it looks like it is anyways uh, the other problem is that I actually don't have any audio um, on the adapter on the adapter there's actually uh, RCA jacks so I don't have any speakers here so it's not going to be uh, too spectacular in terms of gameplay but with the audio but um, anyways this is working really good all right let's see if I can get this to work I think I haven't mapped the buttons yet um, I think everything reset on me Let's see. Just give me one sec here. i redo this. All right. I'm going to go back to the menu. So, yeah, this is where you can actually add some scan lines if you want. I don't really need it because it's, it's on a CRT. Um... Yeah, let's just leave it off. Controller buttons. I don't know, I'm gonna put six. And then uh, exit out. Okay. Can't remember why this is not working. I'm gonna actually just uh, reset the FPGA. Yeah, it's been a little while since I've used this, so. I'm a little, uh, I guess I'm a little rusty on it. So you want to pick the right core. I only have the one on here right now. So I'm going to do some upgrades to my PGA. I'm going to get some um, more cores for one thing. And I'm going to buy some of the, um, some of the extras. All right. I'm not sure why this is not, oh. There we go. We're going to do that again. Oh, Turkin. Actually, uh, let's do something with a little bit more um, color. I think I know I have the Sega Genesis version of this. I believe it's on my Mega SG. So let's see how this looks. Uh, 
Yeah, I think I wanted to I think I do want to add scan lines to this. I mean, it would look better on a television. This is obviously a VGA monitor, so. Um, okay, yeah, we got got, the, got everything working. So that's good. Looks all right. I think because of the way the, um, uh, the screen is, I think that this would be great for like uh, uh, vertical, um, yeah, vertical scrolling shooters. Uh, what was I playing last night? It's quite a bit here. Um, yeah, you can, let's go with that. Superstar Soldier. And you know what? We're going to add, we are going to add some that. There we go. So I just added some scan lines via the uh, FPGA. So you can obviously do this with your um, LCD monitor as well. Um, the difference being for this, I, I'm going to have less uh, lag and um, better uh, coloration, I guess, in the back. I wish I'd got, uh, oops, that was terrible. Um, this is pretty good. I wish I had some audio. Sorry about that. Um, I just kind of wanted to set this up, see if it will work or how it would work. Because um, I was having trouble with the signal from the FPGA going to my um, Elgato in terms of screen capture. So I just wanted to see if there was something that I was not doing right. And um, I think it has something to do with just the, the signal that comes out of it. Um, maybe maybe the Elgato is not supporting it. I'm not sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out what I can do to, to fix that problem. Um, but this looks really, really, really good. So, so it's definitely an option if you have a, a Mr. FPGA and uh, you're trying to figure out, you know, what can you use as a monitor that's not your LCD. Um, you want to get a CRT I and mean, you can get like, for example, like a PC monitor like this. So you don't have to really go after a BVM or something like that, um, or even a television. You could just get a, a CRT monitor that, you know, quite frankly, I mean, if you're using it with your PC as well, you can be a lot happier. There's lots of games that you can, um, you, you know, even on your Steam store, you can just go back to uh, a, a retro display. I use my large gaming display as mainly as just a display, like just general computing, uh, doing work and stuff like that. I mean, yes, I do use it for games. Obviously, that's what I bought it for, but it's um, definitely multi-purpose. Instead of having a dual monitor setup, which I used to have, um, I just use like a basically, basically a 34 inch. And then I alternate my, um, my PVM and, um, my FW900 uh, in the same spot on my desk. Ah, uh, did better that last time I played that. Let's try one more game. Um, ah, I can play this all day. Oh, this was hilarious. Strip Fighter. <laughs> I, I saw this last night and said, what's, what's that? Um, all right, here, let's hit run. Uh, so it's basically just some girl fighters, like a, a street fighter ripoff, I guess. Um, oh yeah. Oh my God, look at her hair. <laughs> That's great. All right. Okay, nothing can beat. Use, I usually use uh, King of Fighters, I usually use May. Uh, this is just really horrible. Oh my God. I don't even. Come on. There we go. Okay, so she can kick. And that's about it. Wow. That's painful. Okay. Um, Street Fighter. Oh, here we go. Splatterhouse. Yeah, it looks all right. 
I think that um, you could probably stretch it if you really, really wanted to, but uh, it's just giving me this, uh, this type of ratio. Um, I'm gonna try this with my FW900. My FW900, I have to, I don't know, something's going on with the, the menu on it. Um, when I got it, the power button didn't really work very well. It just kind of, the monitor just turned on and lately it's, um, this seems to be like one, like a different, not the right color, it just needs to be adjusted, so. And this is pretty good. Yeah. I used to have this game, actually, when I owned the TurboGrafx. Um, I used to use, I used to own the TurboGrafx Express and um, saved up a whole pile of paper route money to buy that thing. And then, um, I don't know, I sold it back in the day. Um, I know it's worth quite a bit now, or a lot of people like to buy them, but I think they have problems too. So, uh, and I'm dead. So anyways, so that is the... How to connect basically your Mr. FPGA to um, computer display. Um, this has got a, a, a VGA input. I'd like to see what this would look like if I got a CGA monitor, like an actual, like an arcade display or something. Um, I know with the light on the side here, it's not as crisp as it should be, but um, I'm gonna just kind of play a little bit more and um, yeah, um, you know, feel free to ask uh, any anything in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, I might try this on some other displays as well. I do have some larger, um, aside from the FW900, I do have actually like a nice, I think it's like a an HP or another ViewSonic 19-inch um, display. I think this is, yeah, this is a 17-inch, but um, I do have a 19. It will work exactly like this. Um, you know, it's great to hang on to these type of monitors. This one's working perfectly. I know it's got a bit of, um, it needs a little bit of a retro bright done to it because it's got a bit of the yellowing on it. But uh, other than that, it's perfect. Like who cares? It's uh, uh, awesome. So you ever see these things in the wild on Facebook and people are getting rid of them or, you know, even want to charge you like $20 or whatever, just get it. But just don't even blink an eye. Um, it's great to have a, a good quality uh, computer monitor. They're not making them anymore, so you know, keep them uh, keep them going as long as you can. So, anyways, um, yeah, please like and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more tech videos like this. I do enjoy mainly streaming, but uh, I want to do a few more of these kind of behind the scenes videos and just in terms of setting stuff up. Um, if you have more questions about the Mister. Uh, FPGA let me know about that as well there's a ton of videos on these things um, and uh, they're really a worthy investment that's for sure if you're a gamer um, totally totally recommend getting one so um, but yeah thanks for stopping by the channel and uh, have a great day